What's up PC building community? Today, we are going to take a look at different tools and accessories that can improve the way you manage your cables. A quick note, this guide is not to show you how cable management is done. There are plenty of cable management guides out there. This video is more of an introduction to different materials that can help you with organizing your cable clutter. Cable management is the process of organizing cables in a system or a setup in a way that will benefit the user and the devices in both form and function. On a PC perspective, it has three purposes. Number one, component care and protection. Proper cable positioning and routing promotes better airflow inside cases, prevents component obstruction, especially in tight spaces, and lessens cable stress. Number two, clearance and accessibility. Good cable management provides easy access to components and peripherals during installation, cleaning, and maintenance. Number 3. Cleanliness and Aesthetics Cable management, if done right, lessens surface areas where dust may settle, provides more emphasis on your components, which makes the system or setup look tidy, neat, and overall pleasing to the eye. Kicking off the list is the cheapest of the bunch, Twist Ties. These simple-to-use accessories are common among PC cases and electronic devices. Just bunch up your cables, place the twist tie perpendicular to the wires, loop it, and twist it together on the other side. The downside is they are not stable, prone to peeling, and wears over time. Cable ties, also known as zip ties, mostly common among modern cases and systems. They are fairly easy to use, relatively cheap, and stable. One end uses a ratchet mechanism where you insert the other end that prevents it from becoming loose. So when the cable is tightened, it stays tight. The drawback of using zip ties is that it leaves a bit of excess that needs to be cut off. They are annoying to undo and most of the time, it must be clipped when removing. Reusable zip ties. These are my personal favorite. It functions just like a zip tie but can be used again and again with its releasable ratchet mechanism. It's a bit wider for a better grip and has a very stable hold. However, it is more expensive than ordinary zip ties and cutting the excess off is a waste. Rubberized Cable Ties A rubberized cable accessory that can be attached to small cables. It has a rubber tab that can be inserted in two flexible holes for multiple cable thickness. They can be restrained to a cable it is easy to install and remove, but gets discolored over time and cannot be repaired if the rubber is torn. Velcro Straps Velcro straps are characterized by a fabric strip where one side has hair-like mesh and the other has tiny flexible hooks, which enables the strap to be fastened in the loop and bind cables temporarily. It can also be bound to a cable, but like all fabric, it gets normal wear and tear. Removing or adding a cable to a bundle also requires the velcro strap to be undone. Adhesive Cable Clips Clips of varying shapes and sizes that bind cables and can be placed to surfaces using pre-applied or aftermarket adhesives. Some even come with a pre-installed nail. Adhesive Cable Clamps Clamps that can also be mounted to a surface provides a neat highway of cables when implemented on walls or tables. Cables can be inserted or removed easily. They are relatively cheap and most of the time available in sets. Cable Combs This small accessory is used to hold several wires in position, keeping them from twisting and getting misaligned. Some cable combs are pre-installed while additional combs can be bought separately. Cable Sleeve a long piece of fabric that can be fastened like a tube using zippers that provide cover for cables in a line. Installing is very straightforward. It's best used on cable slacks that are not tucked away. You can install one after the other for a longer, singular bundle of wrapped cables. Adding or removing a cable may require the sleeve to be fully opened. Spiral Cable Wrap It's just like a cable sleeve but utilizes plastic instead of fabric implemented by wrapping the cables in a spiraling manner, resulting in a tighter bundle of semi-exposed cables. They are a bit tedious to install and remove, but can be cut down in length. Paper Clamps While these are not meant for cables, they can be handy at organizing them. They can be used in securing looped cables, and using the handle provides a makeshift hanger. 
hooks. Although cable management is not its primary purpose, using these hooks on surfaces provide anchor points for cable routing. Cable duct, also known as cable molding. A piece of plastic tubular bar, usually installed on walls, that houses lines of cables inside. It has two parts. The main compartment, which has to be installed first, using screws or adhesives, running the cable inside, followed by the cover, which can be snapped on. Available in different colors, sizes, and mounting options. Slotted Cable Duct Similar to Cable Duct, but this one has perpendicular slots along its sides where cables can be routed through. Cable Raceway Also similar to a cable duct, except these flexible conduits stay open on their sides where cables can be inserted. Most are used under tables or behind furniture. It promotes quick addition, removal, or swapping of cables. Comes in different sizes and can be cut down to desired length. Cable Rack a metal or plastic structure that can be mounted under a table or furniture using screws or adhesive tapes. It features several prongs or hooks where cables can be hung or looped and its center hub can hold power strips, USB hubs, and other cable bulk. The most common example is IKEA Signum Rack. It can also hold controllers, headsets, or other peripherals. Cable Box Cable boxes are literal containers about the size of a shoebox that usually has two slits on either side. The slits enable cables to pass through, while the box itself can house different objects like power strips and USB hubs. The boxes are commonly placed on the floor. That concludes our list. Organizing your cables might seem overwhelming at first, but if you have the proper approach, right tools, and extra time, your setup will look a lot better. Cable management is a tedious journey but it's very satisfying when done right. Let me know what you guys think. Toss a like if you learned something new in this guide. And I'll see you all next time!